So you would all. Mrs. Weston, you would be quite laid up. Do not let them talk of such a wild thing. Pray do not let them talk of it. That young man, speaking lower, is very thoughtless. Do not tell his father, but that young man is not quite the thing. He has been opening the doors very often this evening and keeping them open very inconsiderately. He does not think of the draft. I do not mean to set you against him, but indeed he is not quite the thing. Mrs. Weston was sorry for such a charge. She knew the importance of it and said everything in her power to do it away. Every door was now closed. The passage plan given up and the first scheme of dancing only in the room they were in resorted to again and with such good will on Frank Churchill's part that the space which a quarter of an hour before had been deemed barely sufficient for five couple was now endeavored to be made out quite enough for ten. We were too magnificent, said he. We allowed unnecessary room. Ten couple may stand here very well. Emma demurred. It would be a crowd, a sad crowd, 